Is nuclear energy the way to go for a more cost-effective and eco-friendly power source? There are concerns among Filipinos on its safety. For his views, we're joined now by Carlo Arcilla of the Science and Technology Department's Philippine Nuclear Research Institute. Carlo, thank you so much for joining us on The Final Word. Let's talk nuclear. Is nuclear power the answer to safeguard energy security in the country, considering we now have the depletion of the Malampaya gas field and the threat to coal exports because of the Russia-Ukraine conflict? Yeah, uh, first, uh, the, the, the final word on uh, nuclear will come mm -hmm. from the Department of Energy. Mm -hmm. But as a scientist and a geologist, by the way, I'm a Balik scientist. <laughs> Welcome I, back. I, uh, Thank you so, so much for bringing the, be uh, the best practices from overseas back to our country. Anyway, uh, like you, like uh, Balik uh, Filipinas. No? Mm -hmm. So anyway, uh, let me just explain a little bit uh, about uh, what about nuclear. No, 10% uh, of the world's power comes from nuclear. America has 93 nuclear power plants, so, uh, providing 20% of its electricity for the past 60 years. Mm -hmm. So there are 450 nuclear power plants in the world. So uh, if you if you look at uh, nuclear power, it is a, a, a the cleanest source of uh, energy, and in fact uh, the climate change advocates cannot deny that uh, you know it, it, its importance uh, because it has zero emissions. It has nuclear waste, but that can be taken care of. So these are the most important uh, things uh, going for nuclear, and also people say, oh, dami naman natin dito ng sun and wind. You know, bakit pa tayo maging nuclear? No? Actually, we welcome renewables and I actually allowed the DOE for uh, uh, for uh, considering uh, renewables. But the issue with uh, renewables is that they have only 30% capacity factor, which means 70% of the time, mm. you must have a backup. And that's typically full right now. So uh, anyway, nuclear will be a political uh, decision. And uh, but we want to be ready at PNRI to actually support mm -hmm. the decision if, if the decision comes because uh, when the decision comes, it will not be overnight. Right. The preparation has to happen now, like uh, you know the, the the personnel, the the, the laws. Mm -hmm. The most important thing in nuclear is regulation because regulation, especially as far as we're concerned, uh, uh, impacts the three S's of nuclear: right. safety, so, number one. Mm -hmm. Security, number two, it guards and liability. But so, over, over and above everything is safety. But and Carlo, that's what we Carlo, are, uh, here for. So, Carlo, I'd like to jump in. Given the current uh, conditions, are we prepared to add nuclear power to the country's energy mix? Actually, it, it, it's it's like this, you know. Uh, again, uh, uh, the. The, 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 the preparation takes time, you know. Uh, it will have, it, it, if it wants to happen, if the government wants to happen, uh, to nuclear to come in, it must start the, the process now. I mean, like uh, with uh, preparing the law. And uh, now, by the way, we cannot forget uh, the Philippines is the first in the ASEAN to build a nuclear power plant, the BNPP. But it's only 620 megawatts. And... Uh, and maybe I just can say something about the BNPP. Uh, there are three sister plants of the BNPP built mm -hmm. at the same time in Slovenia, South Korea, and Brazil. Those three plants are operating 40 years safely and very profitably. Mm -hmm. So these are some of the factors. But there are some political considerations, you know, and, and, and it's, it's, a, it's a touchy topic. Uh, yes. But what I can say, oh, another topic that uh, we have to potentially consider are the small modular reactors mm. uh, because these are... Kanina yung pinag-uusapan yung ano, yung power doon sa mga extremities na, ng NPC. Small modular reactors could be ideal for those not connected to the grid because uh, they uh, they will provide 90% available electricity. But then uh, the, the first reactors are still going to come to the picture maybe in eight years. But uh, the ASEAN, there's a lot of interest in small modular reactors. Even so, in, in the last meeting in the IEA two weeks ago, many countries are looking for into SMRs. So where do you think should these uh, small modular uh, reactors be set up in the country so we can have nuclear energy? 
actually the uh, in one of the congressional hearings that we were uh, one idea by the way in picture and that's our research reactor mm. at, uh, here uh, it's 100 meters from my office proof that we can handle nuclear that reactor was built designed and operated by Filipino scientists and many of them were women now Palawan uh, is a perfect example mm. Palawan has daily brownouts now and uh, Palawan is geologically uh, safe I've heard all the authorities in Palawan, uh, Hagedorn, uh, Socrates, saying that uh, they could consider an SMR there, mm. because it's. Uh, but, but again, that, that that will depend on on uh, on our uh, uh, top management. But Palawan will, will be a perfect place to start a nuclear power, because uh, it's the tourism is high, but mm. there's no power in the evening. So, and uh, and and not only that. By the way, nuclear is not only about nuclear power. It's also about nuclear medicine, and uh, and we have a lot of research that impacts food, uh, food security. But just get this: I, today I was talking to a uh, to a uh, uh, someone who uh, an entrepreneur, saying that he could not put his uh, servers in the Philippines because it costs too much. No, uh, said it will cost twelve million to mm -hmm. put it in the Philippines, where it was in India it was four, and in Dubai it's two million. By the way, the UAE, interestingly, very rich oil country has just built four brand new nuclear power plants. Mm. What does that tell so, us? So, Carlo. So, so you, Carlo. So, how how more cost effective is nuclear uh, energy compared to the power that we're using now, which is coal fired? Okay, uh, I'll give you an idea. Just mm. country basis, South Korea started its nuclear program same time as the Philippines. They have now 23 nuclear power plants. Their electricity rate is about half of that. Mm -hmm. But you see, the, 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 the issue here is not so much the, the cost of power because the rich people can pay for electricity. Uh, the more important question is how much do the, the average Filipino family pays for power? In the Philippines, the median Filipino family pays 10 to 15 percent of the take home income for electricity. That's why uh, in 2019, in a DOE survey, 80% of the Filipinos are open to nuclear. 80%. Huh? Mm. I mean, uh, you came from Singapore, and then you know how much you pay for electricity as a proportion of your income. I was in the US for 11 years. Mm -hmm. It was an afterthought. Here, it's really oppressive. So I think this is one of the issues uh, that now, the DOE is doing a, a very, very good job. For example, well, you know, in, the, in the previous news, they're trying to expand the life of uh, Manampaya and being a geologist that, that because nuclear will not come if ever the decision is made in the next four or five years. We have to buy time uh, for that to happen. So we have to uh, extend Manampaya's uh, lifeline. And I, and I think the DOE is busy with that. No? So, uh, this is really essential. And of course, we can welcome the uh, the, the solar and, and, and the power, but it's it's not good to say that solar and wind will save the Philippines mm. because of the capacity factor. And by the way, uh, one megawatt of solar requires one hectare of land, so that will be competing with uh, with, uh, mm. with agriculture. All right. So these are some of the uh, realities facing us. All right. Still a lot of debate if whether or not we should go yes. nuclear. Thank you so much for joining us on The Final Word, Carlo Arcilla of the DOST Philippine Nuclear Research Institute.